Let's try and take this sucker off. So there we go. Oh, yeah, there. That's how to do it. Now, any at any given time, I'm probably going to... What the... F How's it going, you beautiful, beautiful people? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of the best... Oh, sh oh whoa, I did a little bit of endo there. Okay. But yes, welcome back to another episode of the Best Besieged Creations, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to do another jam-packed episode, checking out some of the most innovative and unique Besieged Creations that I can find for this week of Besieged. Starting off with, we got a reverse trike here with this cute little guy. I'm loving... Oh, God. Okay. All right. We might have broken it there. It seems like it's actually okay. Okay. The, the, the actual bike is split in two, but we're still going. All right, but yes, this is the reverse trike, and I actually got really excited when I saw this, because I haven't seen these in a long time. I remember when I went camping as a kid, they had them at a campground where you could rent them out for, like, the day, and they were the funnest things ever. I wanted one as a kid, but I could never actually find them in stores. I'm assuming they're at, like, special bike stores and whatnot. But yeah, seeing it in Besiege is pretty damn cool, and I'm amazed this thing- Oh, okay, now we're- now- now we're definitely hurt. Nope, we're still good, let's keep going. Okay, this is- this, this- this guy is committed, I will give him that, but I think his leg has fallen off. Okay, but let's see, actually, you know what, let's go up here. We haven't went up here in a long time. I wanna see if I can, like, off-road with this thing. I highly doubt that's going to happen. Oh, shit, okay, we're having a hard time even getting up there. He's still smiling, though. He's still happy. All right, let's try that again. Unfortunately, yeah, there's this bump at the top that always screws up everything, but uh, amazingly, my bike seemed to survive that, so let's keep going here and see if we can make it all the way up to the mountain. Again, it's been a long time. Oh, God, okay, I guess we're not making it up there. There goes my head again. All right, we're making it up. The final stretch here, this thing is a little wonky. It doesn't have that much grip, obviously, so going up these hills, it's just basically... <laughs> Constantly sliding. Don't hurt yourself. Come on. We're almost there. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. No, we're not. We are okay. That, 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 that is a dead guy right there. We finally made it up here, ladies and gentlemen. And I wanted to come over to here because I feel like we have a serious chance of making it down. So let's just try it here. We're just going to coast down. Oh, God. Okay. May oh, there goes my wheel. All right. There goes my whole bike and my head as well. That was a complete. <laughs> failure. So yeah, mountain climbing with this bike, not the best idea. All right, this next one, we got a mini game here. Now, this is Justin, more specifically, actually. He's Jetpack Justin. Now, Jetpack Justin has had a few too many to drink, and now he has to make his way home. So we start over here, and then we got to figure out the best way to get over here. I guess we could probably jump off this if we want to be risky, or take the long way around and, uh, you know, be drunk a little longer. But the whole goal is to make it to the finish line without using Jetpack Justin's Jetpack. You're supposed to actually just walk. If you need to use the Jetpack, then you actually do use it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm loving this swagger walk already. So, yes, we're drunk. It's intentionally made to be kind of hard to control, so this is going to be interesting. All right, I'm going to try a difficult one first. Oh, come on, buddy. Get, get, get your legs over there. There we go. I'm going to try and do the more difficult route right now. And then if we can't do this one, we're going to go on the long route and just take our time here. Now, I'm assuming there's like spikes over there. So I'm assuming I'm not supposed to go that way. I don't even know if I'm supposed to go this way. But if I can make that jump, I'm totally going to do it. Oh, 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 God, Jetpack Justin. Jetpack Justin, stay the fuck on. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, you use your jetpack just to try and get back up here. Uh, oh, man, my I think I totally destroyed my legs, though. Uh, Justin, you're going the wrong way. Justin, please. Okay, let's just stop again. Justin's very light, by the way. I didn't know that until now. Okay, but we made it back on. My legs seem to be okay. Let's see if we can actually kind of just fall down here. Whoa, <laughs> come on, yes. Oh, uh, the problem is you can't back up with Jetpack Justin. You can only go forward. So now I'm kind of humping the wall right now. Oh, yeah, we've fallen down. All right, this one's been way too bad. Let's try and go the long route. Okay, made it on the thin bridge. This is very difficult. And you can see that he actually changes the way he moves his legs. And that's what makes it kind of very drunk-like and very, very hard to control. Trying to even keep this thing in a straight line like I am is not the easiest thing. But we've made it. Oh, oh god, no, 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 jetpack, Justin! Holy fuck, get back on there! Oh no, we are so screwed. F 
fucking jetpack, Justin. If you could just walk in a straight line, especially right about now, that would be fantastic. Because the moment one of his legs, fuck, falls off. Oh, 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 cliffhanging, cliffhanging. Okay, we're, we're, we're okay, jetpack, Justin. Take our time here. There we go. Just got to turn a little bit. Oh, this is not fun. Being a drunk robot is not fun. My God. This is the weirdest creation ever. Okay, we've made it. This is as far as I've gotten. I'm excited, and I didn't realize how big Jetpack Justin is until now, because I know how big that block is compared to most creations, and he is freaking huge. All right, get, get ready, Jetpack. We, we have to run. And let's not fall off either. Go, Jetpack, go! Oh, God, don't break your legs. Don't break your legs. Come on, go, little buddy. Oh, 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 my knees. Okay, we're, we're okay. We're okay. We did it, buddy. Okay, now we just gotta go down here. We are on home stretch now, buddy. It's the hard part, though. This is the one I'm worried about. So we can do two options here. We can go on the side bricks, or we can try and outrun the middle one. Oh, my leg is not... My, my, my leg doesn't seem to want to work right now. I don't know if Jetpack Justin has slowed down. Uh, I think the smartest one would be to go over there and jump on those things, but I'm not about smarts here. I want to try and outrun this thing, which is going to be damn near impossible uh, with my current leg issue. So let's go. All right, get going, buddy. Get oh, this is not good. This is oh. Come on, that's impossible. I'm so sorry, Jetpack Justin. All right, well, we know that other way isn't the way to go. Let's try this way. Now, this is going to be hard as well because I don't think he's going to do well when these things go sideways. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait here, Jetpack Justin. All right, come on. Jump on it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, no. Come on. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, goodbye, cruel world. Oh, there we go. Okay, Jetpack Justin. Oh, why? That's fucking, that's impossible as well. Uh, this is, this is just, uh, uh, Mr. Jetpack Justin is just screwed regardless of where he goes. Let's try and get out of here. I'm going to go the other way maybe and just see if we can do it. If not, you know what? Maybe being a drunken robot is not for me. I mean, I, I, just, I don't get the point of having the jetpack with Mr. Jetpack Justin. Oh, God. Oh, God. We were so close that time. But yes, the whole point of Jetpack Justin is to have a jetpack, but throughout this whole mini game, you can't use it. So I'd like to see more with Jetpack Justin. I appreciate this man, uh, but he needs to be able to use his jetpack because this thing is just cool. All right, well, I totally didn't cheat to get here, but let's just uh, hope that there's some more Jetpack Justin to enjoy in the near future because drunkenness and robots just go hand in hand. It's awesome, and I do love... The beautiful clockwork of this thing. Like, if we do actually walk in a straight line, holy shit. I forgot about those things. I'm so sorry, Justin. But yes, now that we're on flat ground, you can see how his legs work. And it's actually really impressive, this cog work and everything. It makes it seem like he is definitely <laughs> drunk. And I absolutely love this design. All right, and Japanese insect man. We're going to call him that for now on because all he does is design insects and they are fucking amazing. And he's Japanese as well. Uh, this one is obviously a praying mantis. Definitely my most feared insect ever. I, I know a lot of people like these guys, but I mean, seriously, take a minute to look at them and look at anything else in Animal Kingdom and they look fucking horrifying. Now, this one uh, has a few special features in it. If we press Alt here, uh, it does nothing, clearly. Okay, t t totally, totally intentional right there. You can play with his pincers, though. Look at that. He's, he's cleaning his face now. Uh, can he do anything else? Okay, so you can kind of extend the pincers. Whoa, whoa, don't, don't, don't break yourself, buddy. Uh, you can extend the pincers as well, though. You can kind of retract them. It's pretty cool. Turn over. Can I actually... Whoa, what the fuck? That's not turning over. Okay, again, this is made by a Japanese guy, so his English is not... <laughs> The best. Uh, that was considered. Oh wait, you can kind of turn over. Why? Why when you turn over this way does he shoot water as well? So one way you can see there's something going on in his neck, and the other way goes the other way, but it shoots water as well. So uh, a little bit of a screw up there. We also have leg controls. I don't know. I, I don't know what this is for, but uh, the biggest thing we have is this. Oh, that's not that. That that's the wrong button too. Okay, this is. <laughs> This is this is awful. Not the creation, just the uh, explanation of the controls. But that's what I was talking about. Oh god! All right. Uh, I don't know how to fly with it yet, so bear with me. I'm just gonna go this way, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> I am almost lifted off. Okay, yeah, I am just. I'm having a. <laughs> I can't pray manis, guys. I clearly can't. Jesus Christ. Okay, so there is flight controls. Now that I looked at the controls, it was my fault, by the way, not the. Uh, 
wonderful Japanese creator here. It was just my fault. I wasn't able to read the controls. Oh my god, why is there water going on right now? Okay, oh god. Oh, we are going really fast here though. <laughs> Let's let's lift off a bit before we kill ourselves. Okay, somehow I'm still flying with one wing. Doesn't even make sense. I don't care though. This thing is fucking awesome. I just like the fact that it has wings. By the way, when praying mantises get into that mode where they're starting to fly around, I'm I'm the, I'm getting the fuck out of there because this is horrifying to me. I didn't even know praying mantises could fly. I know that's probably pretty embarrassing because how the fuck else do they get around? But honestly, this is another amazing insect creation. I can't seem to lift off with him though. He's too fucking heavy. Maybe it's more for fun. Falling with style than actually flying, but my god, I, I just love the look of these things. This Japanese creator is amazing at doing this, so let me see. Can I get back on my feet here? There we go. Now, I'm assuming right alt means I can put away my wings. Yes, there we go, and we can go back to being my own praying mantis self. All right, well, that was impressive. We got another insect this week. This one, obviously, the praying mantis. Absolutely awesome design. I love its eyes, too. Those are like the actual real praying mantis eyes. Oh, no! They're happy faces! They look like the praying mantis eyes though, but that is definitely a happy face. Okay, now I can't unsee it, but yes! The praying mantis, an awesome little design, let's keep going though. Okay, well, I didn't expect that when I downloaded this, I just saw screenshots of it up close, and I thought it was like a real huge train, but... Uh, judging by the size here, it's more like a model train, but this thing's supposed to be heavenly weaponized. Uh, so we're gonna try it out regardless. And I think it's gonna be fun. Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. All right I knew those model train guys were pretty serious about their model trains, but oh my god the fucking okay stop that uh, we, 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 we can't handle the water, but we can handle the arrows here But yes, these model train guys seem to be pretty serious about their trains. Holy shit. This is so cool. All right, I'm actually lagging because like just look at around for a second. Look at how much I've done in seconds here. There's just there's pieces of arrows everywhere. I, they're on me. They're everywhere. Now that's not the only thing I can do. I think. All right, we got more cannonballs. There we go. What else do we got? I believe. Oh Jesus, we even got rockets. Okay, let's do it this way. There we go. Missed everything. <laughs> And I think that is my engine falling off of the train. Can I still drive the train? Of course you can, and this thing can break dance. Look at that. All right, well, it's not what I expected it was going to be, but gotta be honest, I'm still really impressed with it. The uh, sheer amount of firepower on this is just hilarious. And I love how I'm not killing this fucking peasant with all of these shots. Okay, I think he did fall down now. My god, that though, that is like a stress test for any PC. That is so cool to look at though. All right, well, we're gonna call it the model train. I don't think it is actually called that, but god damn it, it's really cool. Okay, and this is pretty grim. We got a guillotine here. Uh, it doesn't do anything besides what guillotines do, so let's do that. There we go. That's not even... I mean, that thing's already fallen off his body, as you can see. So let's get something a little bit more fun. Do I... I do have drag objects on. It's like I planned this thing out. Okay, I don't care if it can kill a piece of wood. I care if it can kill one of these bastards. So let's bring this guy over. And we're just gonna put him on top of the other guy here. All right, there you go, like that. He's knocked out now. Oh, come on, I just gotta keep knocking him out so he doesn't get up. There we go, and do it quick. Oh, you fucking, oh, you're an asshole. All right, hold on here. Well, that works too. I mean, you don't even need to use the guillotine half the time. Are you, why are you attacking the dead guy? I mean, he's about to die too. All right, I need to knock him out so I can lay him down. And we're just going to hold him. Oh my god, I really wish... I, I wish the drag option. That's one awful option in Besiege is the drag option. So there we go. We'll we'll try and slice him. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Fucking work with me, buddy. There we go. Okay. Just got to get you in there and get ready. There. Do it. Oh my god. I, ca I can't kill these guys for the life of me. Okay. We're just going to hold on to him. And that should be... Are you fucking serious? Is he dead? No, he's not. He's totally fine. So clearly the guillotine doesn't work. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, because this guy's just being an asshole. You know what? Fuck you, buddy. Here you go. There. Good, Good job. All right, and if you remember the radar from last week, it's actually been updated to Radar 2.0. This one's supposed to be a little bit more stable, and if you remember, the last episode only had one shot. Well, we can count one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this one actually has five shots of radared missiles for us to enjoy, so I figured it'd be fun to try this thing out and 
You can't really see it right now, but we're going to turn this on real quick just to make sure it's actually working. You can see it's using its radar right now. Oh, it doesn't actually rotate all the way around now. It just looks in one direction, which is kind of cool for me so I can kind of prepare. But over here, way in the distance, let's see if I can actually connect to it. There we go. We got a pod racer once again. This is a flying pod racer, so it should be fun. All right, and let's try and take this sucker off. So there we go. Oh, yeah, there. That's how to do it. Now, any at any given time, I'm probably going to... What the... F was that the radar, or what was that? I just got lifted into the heavens. I, I, don't, I can't even see the map anymore, guys, so I don't even know. I have no idea what that is. All right, let's try that again, and maybe that was a fluke. I don't know. All right, let's try... I'm very confused. I'm very confused at what it's doing to my poor creation here. All right, I'm not going to turn on the radar for right now just to see, is it actually the radar or is it my creation here? I'm thinking, judging by the fact that I'm totally fine right now, it is actually the radar. So let's try the radar again. And yes, there we go. Right away. I. Go <laughs> so maybe it's something to do with the actual pod racer. Let's try a different vehicle here. All right, we got a Hornet here. Let's try this out. You know, an actual jet for once. It's always something else that we use. So this should hopefully work. So I'm going to go, you know what? Let's turn it on right now. I did have to slow down the game, unfortunately, a little bit because this is a pretty complex creation on top of that one being a complex creation. There we go. It spotted me. Oh my God. What the, f what did it just do? It just like totally turned off my engine there and I am lagging like crazy. Uh, do I have invincibility on right now or is something just fucking demolishing this? Okay, I did have Make Machine Invincibility on, so that might be why the Pod Racer screwed up as well. So my bad there, I totally forgot I had that on for another creation I was trying to play with. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna stay at a distance here and just see... Oh, this thing. I, I mean, if it's anything like the first one, it's just going to shoot me right away. Here we go. I'm, I'm in its front lines here. Actually, did it turn off on its own? I think for whatever reason... Uh, what the fuck happened to the poor thing? Alright, it's trying to kill me still. Not really sure what happened to it, though. Oh, man, that was almost a good landing until that happened. <laughs> All right, gotta say, I kind of like the first one more. At least it shot me in the air. Let's turn it on now, and as long as it's flaming, I gotta assume it's supposed to stay on. Oh, my God. Okay, so we got real close to it that time, and it demolished us and itself once again. All right, let's try and get a little further away this time. I'm going to intentionally be high up, and... Oh, it saw me! It missed, though! It hit me! It knocked something off, but you can saw it totally destroyed itself trying to get to me. And yeah, the only thing it did was damage my wing a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I feel like it's a little too gun-happy. I mean, oh! Okay, uh, clearly it's still a little dangerous even when it's exploded. <laughs> So yeah, honestly, it seems to have a mind of its own now. It definitely needs a little bit of work, but regardless, it's still automated radar. That's fucking so amazing and besieged. Let's try again here. I just want to see one shot. Nope. You can see it. It tries to turn so fast, it actually breaks itself. All right, well, let's go in for a landing here. It's still a little dangerous down here. There's things flying everywhere, but if we can get in for a nice landing. Oh, 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 come on. Come on. Oh, man, we are. I have my, my engine shut off, and it is just gliding with no problem. There we... Man, I, I, I just... I can't land fucking airplanes, man. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Checking out mostly, you know, smaller designs today. I, I tried to find some smaller, simple ones, but fun ones at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, <laughs> thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.